this award, you know, the first one, I'm, I'm, I don't know, so grateful to be chosen. I, I don't know what I've done to deserve it because I'm just doing what I do, you know, and um, I think it's just really, really important to have a group of women friends that you trust, that you can talk to, because they help you through anything. And, um, you know, this award, it just, it just really has gone to my heart and I think I'm probably going to blubber for the rest of the day. I don't think of myself as old uh, because inside I'm not. Inside there's a teenage part of me and there's um, some, something <clears throat> inside in my heart. You see, my heart is still young, but my body will grow old. And, and this is what happens when you, you know, when you reach the age that I've reached, that uh, you do, you start to feel that you, you can do what you want to do. And you can't do that when you're young because you're always worrying about what other people think. And now I don't give a shit what mm -hmm. other people think. So it's, it's a know. part of learning to be authentic and that takes time. And you don't learn that normally as a child. It takes a few years before you can say, okay, I am who I am. I can, I can, I can say my mind. I don't have to have a, a hidden agenda. This is who I am, take it or leave it. And it takes a lot to get to that point, but um, I, I am at that point now. So um, I basically do what, what I want to do with my life. Uh, I'm, I'm proud to be on the advisory council and I'm proud to be selected. And um, it's really an award for Evelyn, Erica. So I think about her when I, when I have it, okay? because she started all this and, and I just think she was a brilliant woman and I'm happy to follow in her footsteps. So I wish I, I wish I could have traveled with her. I wish I could have known her because as I say, get yourself some red boots, ladies.